Hi everyone, today we are going to go over how to use WebEx training to facilitate SafeZone Module 2. So we are going to start from the beginning. Um, I will be setting up and scheduling all the meetings, make sure that everyone gets the invite link. And if you are facilitating that training session, then you should be able to um, just join as the host. So you will go to, you know, WebEx Montana State. Go ahead and sign in using the faculty and staff login. And then you'll see that you have a training scheduled. Um, as you can see, I've been, you know, testing trainings. Um, but yeah, Safe Zone WebEx training. So if you go ahead and hit start, it will take you right in there. Okay, so go ahead and call using computer. All right, everything sounds good. Cool. Okay, so I am in. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do before participants come, I am going to set the meeting so people are able to join it 15 minutes before the actual beginning of the training session itself. That way, if people want to show up early, um, they should be able to do that, provided that you are there. So definitely try to show up early for the training as you would do for an in-person training. So one of the first things you're going to do is go over to this little arrow here and manage panels. So in manage panels, you're going to take breakout session from available panels and add it to current panels. By doing this, you're basically just enabling the breakout session option that we will be using in this particular training. Go ahead and, go ahead and hit OK. Cool. And then there's breakout assignment. Um, now, OK, I want to hop on over to my other laptop and log into this training, which might take a minute. Sorry, I was going to do that beforehand, but. OK, joining right now. It's not frozen. I am just, oh, oh. OK, well, now the other Mitchell is in there. So this is the computer I'm using, Mitchell, and this is my other laptop. I was going to do this with three laptops just to show you how it looks when there are multiple participants. Um, you, but my other laptop, my personal laptop, is a Chromebook. So good to note that you can't use a Chromebook for WebEx training. I'll include that in the email sent out to participants. If you do have a Chromebook for your personal computer, um, you can just check one out from the library. I'm currently using one from the library, and it you know, obviously works great with WebEx training. So another thing that you will want to do is um, go ahead and left right click on the participant and assign privileges. So go ahead and go down here to all attendee privileges so that each attendee is going to have all of the same privileges that you do. Um, and I'll explain why that's important in a second. You will have to go through and do that for all of the different participants, um, which isn't awesome. It's a little annoying, but in the end, it pays off. Just, yeah, <laughs> hold up. OK. So let's go ahead and start with assigning breakout rooms. Um, since we're only using Cisco WebEx training for uh, module two, module one, you won't need to know any of this stuff. So anyway, uh, go ahead and go to breakout, breakout session assignment. And then you can take attendees. Again, I wish there were more than one attendee, but it just wasn't in the stars for us tonight. Ah. Okay, so, hmm. Oh, God. oh. <laughs> sorry. So the reason it didn't work is because first you have to actually add a session. So yeah, breakout session one. Now you can take the attendees and move them over to that breakout session. And, you know, um, you can add another session to add a couple other participants. There is options down here to, um, 
No, that's not what I want. Oh, yeah, there is automatic assignment for these breakout rooms that will just take people and send them into a bunch of different breakout rooms if that's easier for you and that's the sort of thing that you would like to do. Um, then, oh gosh, just realized I am muted in this. Definitely unmute yourself, that's important. Um, yeah, so, oh, I was unmuted. Okay, anyway, not important. So, um, once you've got that, go ahead and hit OK. And when it's time for the breakout assignments, you can go ahead and hit Start. Now, this is going to put the other participants into their breakout rooms. They will get a prompt that says the presenter has assigned them to a breakout session. Um, and, you know, they'll get to say whether or not they want to start now. They're going to all start now. So... Once that happens, um, they're in their breakout rooms. I would say go ahead and give them, like, well, I guess just a couple of minutes, whatever you think is appropriate, whatever the training packet suggests, suggests um, to leave them in their breakout rooms. And once that's over, go ahead and hit end all, and that will give them a 30-second warning that their training is going to close. And... After that, they will come back. Uh, another really important thing that you'll be doing in Safe Zone Module 2, uh, the thing that you actually do before the breakout sessions, um, is the YouTube videos. So, one sec, sorry. Okay, cool. So now the other Mitchell's back from the breakout room. Anyway. The other thing that you're going to do in Save Zone Module 2 is the YouTube videos. So I'll go ahead and hop on over to, um, the, you'll have the Module 2 facilitation outline. I will make sure that everyone who is training has this trainer outline, um, and it also has the videos in it. That's very convenient because now you don't have to actually like type in the videos. Um, you can just click on it and it goes. So, um, there is a multimedia player in WebEx training. It's a little bit confusing. If you know how to use that, definitely go for it. But I would say that the best thing to do is just to copy the links and paste them into the chat. You know, once you send that, um, all the participants can then click on those videos and watch them. Um, we cannot figure out a way to make it so everyone watches the video at the same time. So give the participants about five minutes on their own time to watch the videos. They're not that long. Um, it probably won't take them five minutes to watch it, but just in case there's like technical difficulties, slow internet, that sort of thing, um, yeah. Five minutes seems appropriate. Okay, and now the final thing that we will be using WebEx training for in Safe Zone Module 2 is the whiteboard function. Um, so you're going to go to share, whiteboard, and then you start the whiteboard. Now immediately off of this, all of the other participants will see the whiteboard shared on, your, on their screen and everything you type will show up for them too. The reason that I had you assign all privileges to the attendees is because if you do not assign all of the privileges, then they cannot also use the whiteboard during this training. What's awesome about that is that it's a great opportunity for people to put in um, all of their different, oh, all of the things that they would like to say and it does not force them to actually, you know, like speak it out if they're not comfortable saying it out loud in the meeting or things get a little tricky with like talking over one another. They can just simply write it on their own. So um, in module two, we have, you know, uh, a little chart with three different options. Um, for the sake of this, we're just going to do two. Uh, uh, just to show you how it works. This is the little pen tool over here. Um, you can also, you know, add text box and stuff, boxes and stuff. You can also write like with a regular pen. Um, if you feel confident enough to write straight lines, then 
definitely go for it. So we'll just do a little pros and cons list. Um, not really sure what we're doing the pros and cons of, but you know, okay. Ah. Okay, and now that because other attendees have all the privileges, they can also add things to the whiteboard. So, I'm typing right now. And what they did, uh, I did not type this. Well, I did, okay, I did type it, but I did not type it as the host, as you could see the other attendee who is, you know, also me, typed that. So, um, just like adding another one. Okay, and there you have it. So, um, those are the three things that we will, we will be using for our <laughs> module two trainings. Hopefully everything should go smoothly. Just to be safe, um, I will be, you know, just kind of hanging out in all of the trainings. I'm not going to be, like, watching or participating. I'll only be there in case you need technical assistance. Um, yeah, I'll have office hours during all of the trainings that we plan to do this year. Okay, cool. Well, that does it. If you have any other questions, go ahead and shoot me an email at either Mitchell Meyer at Montana.edu, there's no period in that, just Mitchell Meyer at Montana.edu, or LGBTQ at Montana.edu, um, whichever one works for you. And hopefully this video all made sense. Okay.